hello viewers so in today's class we are going to solve one important problem uh, related to uh, integral of greatest integer function so here we have to solve this problem right so we have to uh, integrate uh, this function uh, that is greatest uh, integer at 2 log x minus 1 from e to e square where e is the exponential number right so uh, let us denote this integral by i right now here uh, we see that uh, x varies from uh, e to e square it means x belongs to the interval e to e square and uh, when x belongs to uh, e to e square and uh, let us see uh, the variation of this function right so uh, let fx is equal to uh, greatest integer uh, 2 log e x minus 1 right so when x is e then f of e is equal to uh, 2 log uh, base e e minus 1 and here we have 2 uh, log e is 1 so here we have 2 times 1 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is 1 so here we have 1 right similarly when x is equal to e square then f of e square is equal to uh, 2 log uh, to the base e here we have e square minus 1 and uh, this is 2 times uh, log e e square is 2 log e to the base e minus 1 and uh, since log of e to the base e is 1 so here we have uh, 2 to the 4 uh, 4 times 1 is uh, uh, 4 minus 1 so here we have 4 minus 1 that is 3 right and the value of greatest integer 3 is 3 and here the value of greatest integer 1 is 1 right so when x uh, varies from e to e square f of x uh, it varies uh, from uh, 1 to 3 right now uh, let us uh, uh, take the number line and here we have 1 and here we have 3 right and uh, we see that uh, uh, between 1 and 3 uh, we have the integer uh, 2 right so 2 lies between 1 and 3 okay now our aim is to uh, express uh, f of x in terms of intervals right so here we have the function uh, f of x is equal to greatest integer 2 log e x minus 1 so now uh, we'll express uh, this uh, function in terms of intervals right so the first interval is from uh, 1 to 2 and when uh, 2 log x minus 1 right 2 log x minus 1 it lies between 1 and 2 right it lies between 1 and 2 then the value of uh, this function that is greatest integer 2 log x minus 1 is equal to 1 right okay so first we have considered this interval from 1 to from 1 to 2 right so when uh, this term or this uh, expression 2 log x minus 1 lies between 1 and 2 then the value of f of x is equal to 1 right because this is due to the definition of greatest integer function uh, suppose the value of say uh, 2 log x minus 1 uh, is equal to say 1.6 right so then the value of uh, f of x is equal to uh, greatest integer uh, 1.6 and uh, due to the definition of uh, greatest integer function uh, this is equal to greatest integer less than or equal to uh, 1.6 so this is 1 right so here we have 1 okay and when 2 log x minus 1 when 2 log 
x minus 1 it lies between uh, 2 and 3 right 2 and uh, 3 then the value of this function uh, is equal to uh, 2 right why because uh, let us take one more example so here suppose 2 log x minus 1 it lies between 2 and 3 suppose here we have uh, uh, 2.3 then the value of uh, the function f of x f of x is equal to greatest integer 2.3 and uh, by virtue of the definition of uh, greatest integer function this is equal to greatest integer less than or equal to 2.3 so here we have 2 right so that's why here we have 2 okay so now we have expressed f of x in terms of uh, two intervals right now let us solve these inequalities now the uh, first inequality is 1 less than or equal to uh, 2 log x uh, minus 1 and less than 2, right? Now adding 1 throughout, uh, we'll have 1 plus 1. Here we have 2 and here 1 and this minus 1 get cancelled. So we have 2 log x and here we have 3, right? Now dividing throughout by 2, uh, here we have 1 and here we have uh, sorry it's uh, log x and here we have 3 by 2 right okay now uh, let us raise each term uh, to the power of e right so uh, here we have e raised to 1 and uh, then we have e raised to uh, log x to the base e and here we have e raised to 3 by 2 right so what we have done here uh, we have this inequality and we have first added one throughout then we get this one and then we have divided throughout by 2 then we uh, got this inequality now uh, we have raised each term of uh, this inequality that is 1 log x and 3 over 2 uh, to the power of uh, this e where e is the exponential number so now here we have e and e raised to log e x is simply x because uh, we know that e raised to uh, log of uh, uh, a uh, here we have the base e so this is equal to a right so e raised to log e x is x and here we have e raised to uh, 3 over 2 right so this inequality is reduced to uh, this one right now let us solve this one so now uh, we have this inequality and uh, uh, let us add 1 uh, throughout right so here we'll have uh, 2 plus 1 3 here 1 uh, minus 1 and 1 get cancelled so we have 2 log x and here we have 3 plus 1 4 right so what we have uh, done here uh, we are solving this inequality and we have added 1 throughout okay now dividing throughout by 2 so we have 3 over 2 here we have uh, log x and here we have 2 right so dividing by uh, 2 throughout okay now we have got this uh, inequality and uh, let us raise uh, these terms uh, to the power of exponential uh, number right so what we'll have we have uh, 3 raised to 3 over 2 and here we have e raised to log x to the base e here and here we have e square right and again uh, by this rule that is e raised to log a uh, which is equal to a so here we have uh, e raised to 3 over 2 and here we have x and here we have e square right so this inequality is now reduced to uh, this one okay so now uh, let us write uh, this one here so here we have e raised to 3 over 2 uh, less than or equal to x and here we have e square right okay so viewers uh, now uh, we can uh, rewrite uh, this function 
uh, f of x uh, which is greatest integer uh, 2 log x minus 1 and we can write uh, uh, this expression or this entire uh, uh, expression uh, like this so here we have 1 and here we have 2 and uh, this inequality is now equivalent to this one so here we have e less than or equal to x and here we have e raised to 3 by 2 and here we have uh, uh, e raised to 3 by 2 less than or equal to x and here we have e square right so now uh, let us come to the integral i and uh, here we have uh, to integrate uh, this function from e to e square so here we have e here we have e square so it means uh, we have uh, here e and here we have e square and the intermediate point that is between e and e square is uh, e raised to uh, 3 over 2 right so now we can uh, split uh, this integral uh, as a sum of two integrals that is i1 plus i2 so here i1 is uh, from uh, e to e raised to 3 by 2 right from e to e raised to 3 over 2 here we have f of x dx and i2 is from uh, e raised to 3 over 2 to e square right and here we have f of x dx so what we have done here uh, we have to integrate this uh, function from e to e square and we have expressed this uh, function f of x uh, as uh, as a piecewise function uh, and we have uh, here two intervals from e to e raised to 3 by 2 and e raised to 3 by 2 to e square right so now uh, here uh, when x lies between e to e raised to 3 by 2 f of x is equal to 1 so here we have 1 right and when x lies between e raised to 3 by 2 to e square f of x is equal to 2 so here we have 2 right okay so now we have uh, the integral from e to e raised to 3 by 2 here we have 1 dx and here we have e raised to 3 by 2 to e square here we have 2 dx right okay so now the integral of uh, uh, 1 is simply x and the limits are from e to e raised to 3 by 2 and here we have 2x the integral of 2 is 2x and here we have the limits e raised to 3 by 2 to e square right now let us substitute the limits and take the difference so here we have e raised to 3 by 2 minus e plus here we have 2 e square minus here we have sub, uh, we are substituting uh, e square for x and then uh, e raised to 3 by 2 for x so here we have 2 e raised to 3 by 2 right okay so now uh, we can uh, simplify it so we have 2 e square minus e and e raised to 3 by 2 and minus 2 e raised to 3 by 2 is minus e raised to 3 by 2 right so this is uh, the required value of uh, this integral